Today we are going to be trying a very popular Hong Kong dish and that is roasted goose and when one is talking about roasted goose we cannot leave out this popular Michelin star restaurant yet lock. I mean look at this line y'all everybody was here to eat and I was decided to try it out. Apparently this recipe goes back to like 1957 and this goose recipe has 20 steps. So yes, I need to see what this is about. They also serve cha shu, which is a Chinese barbecue pork, and they have a few other variations of barbecued and roasted meats. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> the atmosphere in here is bustling, y'all, and I learned something about Hong Kong eating that threw me for a loop, and that's the fact that if an establishment is busy, they will throw you at a table with a bunch of random people, and you would just be sitting there eating, as I was. So I'm here with like two different groups of people. But nonetheless, I'm gonna eat and throw down. So I got a combination plate that included the roasted goose and the char siu. But y'all, look at this seductive ass meat. Like, why is this meat glistening in my face like that, ready to be eaten? And look at all that juice. Oh my. <laughs> y'all, I'm so excited to try this. My goodness. Ooh. Like, the meat just looks. Oh. Ooh, did y'all just see that thing drip like that? What a kinky piece of meat this is. It is so good, y'all. Like, the skin. It's just nice and crisp, and the flavors are savory with like a hint of sweetness. It's delicious, y'all. The meat also has a really nice good bite to it and texture, and there's this kind of flavor that comes along with like goose and duck, and I really enjoy that. And it pairs so well with the sets of season that they use. They also give you like a dipping sauce. I believe it's a plum dipping sauce, so I'm very excited to see how this pairs with the rest of the meat. Look at that skin, oh my gosh. Uh, I actually try not to eat skins on things, except when it's really required to enjoy a delicacy like this. And oh my gosh, I cannot skip out on skin on such a meal. I really like that plum sauce too. I feel like a little bit went a long way and paired so well. Here's the chashu. I also got a side of rice to help soak up all those delicious juices, y'all. Oh my gosh, let me tell you something. These are seasoned so thoroughly. Have you ever tried something like, if you bake something and the drippings come down and like there's the drippings and then like there's the oil and sometimes you really can't taste the flavor in the oil but you can definitely taste in the drippings but i feel like this was like so well combined and everything was immersed in seasoning that you could just taste that flavor in everything and oh my gosh uh that rice was just needed to soak it all up I think the rice also adds a nice balance to the equation because the meats are like a little bit on the oily side and then you have this like simple plain white rice to just kind of help cut through that equation and just have like a really nice delectable simple pairing to taste what you need to taste. White rice is always such a nice choice to allow your flavors to shine through. It's just a really great vehicle for that. I like the cha siu, but I like the goose better. And if I can go back, I would just get the goose. And of course, the one that I like the most, they skipped me on because I feel like they skipped me on the goose and they gave me a lot more cha siu. But I knew that I wanted to try cha siu eventually during my trip, so I figured why not get at this Michelin star place. So I'm happy with my choice, but if I was to go back, I would definitely only get straight goose. They also had some pepper at the table that you can add to your meal. And of course, I added some because I love spicy food. Like, burn me up. Burn my mouth up. Meow. Meow. The one thing about cha siu though, it was a bit too oily for my taste and it got me to like oil fatigue pretty quickly. Like I was dabbing it to try to get some of the oil out. And I feel like that's something indicative to cha siu in general versus like how it's prepared here. I think pork is just generally a more oilier meat, depending on the cut of course. I feel like the goose to me reminds me a lot of the Wagyu beef that I tried at Tsukiji Fish Market in Japan. I'm not sure if all Wagyu tastes like that, but the flavors remind me a lot of that. And that flavor reminded me of American breakfast sauces. Of course, not exactly like American breakfast sauces. Like, it tastes like a way better version of that. But I do feel like they share some common spices, which I wonder what they are. Y'all, this place was so lively and bustling. It was just a very interesting atmosphere to see what was going on and see how everybody was in motion and working and everybody was eating. I feel like Hong Kong is a place where it's probably hard to feel lonely because you just, like, get crammed in this real communal type of space. I am so sad to be down to my last piece of goose, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh, this meal was just so good. My last bite. Boop. Oh, it's gone. And it's gone. And it's gone. <sighs> this was such a great meal and such a unique set of flavors that I probably only dream about outside of Hong Kong. 
As always, thanks for eating with Nick.